In this Ticket Bud tutorial, we're going to look at custom ticket layouts. So first of all, what is a custom ticket layout? Well, our standard layout looks like this. There is an auto-generated ticket on the top of the page, and then everything below is just white space. If attendees print this, they can fold the ticket down to a smaller size. When we say you can customize your ticket layouts, it means that we give you the option to add your own design to the lower part of this page. So an example of that is something like this. You can add your own branding, maps, and parking information. It's completely up to you. Creating a custom ticket layout is optional. Our standard layout is applied unless you have your own design. It's just an additional customization and branding option. In previous videos, we've shown you how to set up a free TicketBud account and create an event. To customize your ticket layout, first you need to go into an event from your account dashboard. Click on Manage Event. Then from inside your event dashboard, go into Tickets. If I click into Ticket Editor, you can see the ticket types I've created for this event already. Now we want to go to Ticket Layouts. So here you can see those ticket types that have been created for this event. General Admission, Early Bird and a Parking Ticket. You can create different layout designs for the different ticket types. For example, the parking ticket would probably have a parking map and instructions on the ticket, which might be different from your other ticket layouts. Down the bottom here, you can see we don't have any custom layouts at the moment. You can upload ticket layouts before you have any ticket types. They'll just be saved here at the bottom. You just won't have anything to allocate them to yet. So let's add a new ticket layout. Give your new ticket layout a title. Here you can see our recommended design size for creating a custom layout. You can view our example ticket design as a reference. This white space at the top is where the individual ticket reference will be automatically added later when the tickets are processed. All the space below in blue is yours to do what you want with. You can use any design program or tool you want to create a design file. A quick and easy tool that we recommend is canva.com. Its basic features are free to use. I'll show you an example of how to create your own design. So log in to canva.com and create a free account. Then you can get started creating a design. Click on custom dimensions. Then you can add our ticket measurements, 2550 by 3300 pixels. Then click create a new design. Now on this page, we want to leave that white space at the top for the ticket information. To help us do that, go into file and select show rulers. Then go back into file and select show guides. That will make things a little easier. So now we need to create a 960 pixel blank space at the top. We can use these guidelines by clicking on the ruler section and dragging down. You'll see numbers appear on the left showing measurements as the line moves. It doesn't have to be exact as long as you leave a space of more than 960. Now we also want to create some margins around the outside of our design. This margin needs to be at least half an inch. An easy way to do this is by adding a box guide. Click elements in the left menu. In shapes you can find a box. I've used it recently so it's here. Click on it and it will appear on your page. Then move that to the bottom left and resize. Half an inch is 48 pixels, so it needs to be at least that. I'm going slightly wider here, but around 100 pixels is fine. Then click the duplicate button up the top and copy the box over to the right. This just makes it easier to use the guidelines now to create your margins. Then you can delete the boxes. Canva has lots of options when it comes to design. You can start from scratch and create your own design, or click on templates at the top here and use an existing design template as a starting point. Just drag and drop the template onto your page. Then make adjustments to make it fit the margins needed. Add your event information here. Anything you want to appear on the tickets. This might include maps, parking, or event directions. Canva also has a huge range of images you can use. If you go to photos, search the type of image you want, then drag and drop the image into your design. It's that easy. Now we have our design, let's go to the top right corner and click download. You can change the file type, JPEG or PNG are best, then download and save the file to your computer. Now we can go back into TicketBud and add our new ticket layout. Choose the design file to upload. You can now see our new design here. Give this new ticket layout a name, then create layout. Now you can see the new ticket layout is available here under layouts. Next, we want to add that ticket layout to a ticket type. So let's add it to the general admission ticket. If we had uploaded different ticket layouts for this event, they would all show up here and you would choose the one you want. In this case, we only have one, so click attach. 
Now you can see our new Balloon Fest event ticket layer has been applied to our general admission ticket. If we click Preview, you can see what it would look like to ticket buyers. See how the ticket information gets added to the space at the top. And that's it. That's how you create a custom ticket layout. Mm-hmm.